Seven, seven, nine. Call now. No two callers have exactly the same swing. Same way no two investors have the same retirement needs. That's why at American Century, we offer a broad range of retirement products, like IRAs and plans for small businesses. So, when you're planning your retirement, look into American Century. We may have just what you need to make yours sweet. Call 1-888-ACI-FUNDS. Will extra amenities in your life lead to greater happiness? Are 64 crayons in a box better than eight? Is there such a thing as too many cable channels? Introducing the all-new, redesigned Avalon, the most luxurious, most refined sedan we've ever created. When other kids were trading baseball cards, he was trading soybeans. His fish are named Dow and Jones, and he trades on my track. He was frustrated with the delays in connecting with most online brokers. Now he places orders when he wants. He rides the bull. He pets his cat. My track. Trade like a pro. Trade commission for your first week. Market volatility and trading volume may affect trade execution. Well, clearly the negative sentiment that dragged down bonds in 1999 appears to be continuing immediately in 2000. The yield on the 30-year bond reaching its highest level in over two years at five points, uh, pardon me, at 6.6 percent. Robin Mesh, the chief fixed income analyst at Mesh Capital Management and author of the market letter Trading Profits, joins us now from Portland, Oregon, with a technical look at the market. Robin, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Happy Hi. New Year. Thank you. Um, you've been quite bearish on this bond market for quite some time. There was a, a bear market rally a few months ago that uh, evaporated quite quickly. What yeah. happens now? Uh, for for year 2000. Yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm thinking more decline. Uh, I, I'm looking for at least an immediate target of around 87.09 or 87.16, somewhere in that area. Where does, in fact, as we look at a quarterly bond chart, and this is one that you've shown us in the past. In fact, right. one you showed us last November, when just after yields had bottomed out, uh, they mm -hmm. never did make a higher high in price, lower low in yield, and you said that was a huge bearish technical formation. What does this formation tell us now? Well, I included a trend line, and that was how the market closed right at the end of 99. And this morning, the market gapped below that level, just a gap down below not only that trend line, but an important weekly support cluster of support. And I think what that says is beeline to 87.09 to 16, which is the next area that you can see. I drew a horizontal line. Right. And, and that level was a high back in 86 and a number of lows support, uh, held support there. So that, I think the market will be magnetized to that area. What kind of yields are we talking about there? Uh, I think still 6.957%. Uh, my original kind of outlook from 99, we're just going to finish off. Now, you use uh, something called a profile chart, which deals with how volume is concentrated at certain price targets in the bond, or at certain prices, I should say. Right. As we look at the profile, and this is one we're becoming more and more familiar with, um, is it telling us anything different than in previous months? Nothing different, but, and this, is, this says the fattest part of that profile is where the most volume builds up. And last we talked, the market was right at around 95, where that bulk of volume was. So what it does tell us is that if there's going to be a bottom in this market, Market, you would have to equalize that amount of volume that built up around 94 to 95, 12. And how do you do that? Well, that time is about four to five months of base building. So if the market, one, finds support at 7%, um, two, it would have to stay there and build a base of volume of, of four to five months before it could really even hope to overcome what's above it in selling power. All right. So in absent that development, um, you mentioned that obviously we can go to 695, 7%. Right. Um, what causes then a turnaround in the bond market at those yield levels? Well, really uh, big buyers coming in the market, <laughs> slurp it up. But um, no, I would think you would start, I would start to nibble at that buy level and then, and, but it's going to take time and, and a lot of um, trading and horizontal development down there before you're going to be ripe to make any, stage any kind of turnaround in the market. So it's going to be, continue to be vulnerable throughout 2000. Now, 1999 on a total return basis, as we've discussed, has been uh, the, the worst year for bonds in, in U.S. bond trading history. Uh, and there have been no periods where we've seen two years like that in a row. But 
does the trend usually last a while before the situation turns itself around? Uh, yeah, I always say markets don't turn on a dime. And yeah, th this is going to... Uh, the market's going to continue to be really vulnerable. So if you if you play the buy side, keep your time frame extremely short. In fact, for this week, I'd only be playing the sell side against. I'm trying to sell somewhere around 90, against 12 to 16, 90, 12 to 16, with the idea that your any any rallies are going to meet um, Stiff a, a lot of yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you, Robin. We'll see you soon. Okay. Robin Mesh, Chief. Fixed Income Analyst at Mesh Capital Management, author of the Market Letter Trading Profits, joining us from Portland, Oregon. We'll come back with the biggest bond fund manager in the world. Bill Gross will join us, and we'll get another look at the bond market as Street Signs continues for this third day of January. I told Jim here that MyDiscountBroker.com lets me do any online stock trade for just $12, even limit orders. Yeah, right. My Discount Broker offers free IRAs and free checking. Yeah, right. I even get free independent research on companies. Yeah, right. He doesn't have to take my word. My Discount Broker is ranked on Gomez Advisors and SmartMoney.com. Is that right? That's right. Oh, Jim. Your investments, your way. My Discount Broker. The King Brothers. Separated at birth, George King went to a family that subscribed to fishing magazines. James's family subscribed to the Wall Street Journal. 28 years later, George lived with his parents, while his brother James started a B2B web company and went public with a record first day pop. Food for thought, especially since you can get 13 weeks of the Wall Street Journal for just 57 cents a day. That's 25% off the regular rate. Call 800-293-3900. That's 800-293-3900. For the Wall Street Journal. CMGI, the big internet incubator, up 14 and a quarter percent to 316 and change. CNBC.com and SteveHarmon.com, same guy, making a recommendation today. Geraldo Rivera reports, controversial, thought-provoking, stories that touch our lives. It's really the story of the American dream. This week on Rivera Live. And hold, 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 and release. Now take a journey to a beautiful, happy place. And Debbie, 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 where are you? In a beautiful garden. Brad? I'm on a sandy beach. Richard? I'm at my computer trading stocks on Ameritrade for $8. $8 flat rate? Eight bucks. I'm off the beach. I'm trading stocks. Mm -hmm. I'm getting real-time quotes. Good. <gasps> What's the high soda Good. stock? Very positive. I'm getting an email alert. Can I change to America? Alive, alive. I'm trading on my web phone. You're lighting up. I want to do a headstand. Oh, that's weird. It's your body. It's natural. Get back on your mat, Brad. Open your cash account by February 29th with $500 and get a 50% rebate on your first month's commissions up to 20 equity trades. Visit Ameritrade.com. Ameritrade. Believe in yourself. Good day, everybody. We're back on Street Signs. I'm Ron Insano. The markets are mixed today, and it has been a very volatile, high-volume session thus far. Uh, and although the trend of uh, late Friday has not continued for the Dow and the S&P, the NASDAQ, after a whipsaw session that has uh, been home to a 200-point range, uh, in fact, as Tom Costello pointed out, the largest range ever uh, for the NASDAQ on a single day, uh, we have seen a lot of volatility today, and we have seen the financial stocks get beaten up as interest rates move higher, while we've seen technology move selectively today with some of the internet incubators and portal sites doing better while some e-commerce sites are not faring all that well except for amazon.com and ebay which were said to be the most successful two of the holiday season let's take a look at the markets now to see where we stand the dow industrial average uh, again sitting right near its low down about 161 points here at 11,336. the volume not bad uh, for the first day after uh, a holiday weekend 817 million shares changing hands a lot of cross currents in this market as we described to you last week uh, maybe some tax deferred selling among hedge funds who made money in technology stocks but reinvestment demand likely to come in the first part of the year as well. Worries about higher interest rates are prevalent today, uh, but there's also some optimism that last year's trend will continue through the year. As for 
Some of the other averages, the transport's given some back, down about 38 points, down to 29.38. The utility average, uh, weakened by natural gas stocks, which appear to be falling on warmer than expected uh, weather in much of this country. The utility's down six and two-thirds points, now to 276.71. Market internal still negative, with declines beating advances better than two to one. 323 issues unchanged, while the number of new highs on the big board is at 113 against 135 new lows. S&P 500 getting knocked around, but just off the lows of the day, down 20 points. The NASDAQ, which traded as high as, which traded up to about 4,200 earlier in the day, up 119 points, now up about 18 after being down in the morning as well on 1.3 billion shares. The small cap Russell, which scored a new high at the last day of trading last year, is down about 10 points today. Uh, the Russell 2000 currently quoted, as we will see, down nine and two-thirds, while the 30-year Treasury bond is getting mugged, despite a slight drop in the purchasing managers index reported this morning. The long bond is down better than a point and a half.